Hey guys, so let's imagine that you end up on an uninhabited island. What would you expect to find there? Monkeys, palm trees, maybe even a sandy beach? Well, forget all of that. The world has more interesting places. Like uh, an island of snakes, an island identical to Mars, and even an island that devours ships. All of this and more is going to be in today's video. Big Major K Also known as Pig Beach, on Big Major K, you'll find herds of swimming pigs. They aren't wild hogs, but domesticated pigs, fat and friendly. Now, experts don't know how pigs ended up on this tropical island. Maybe they were brought by pirates as a self-refilling food store. Maybe a ship sank nearby, carrying pigs, and some of them managed to survive and swim to Big Major K. There's also a more down-to-earth version. The pigs may have been brought from neighboring islands by businessmen to trick tourists. Well, one way or another, the pigs ended up liking the island. Now, there aren't any large predators, there's tons of food, and people come to the island in boats to feed them delicious treats. The pigs quickly learned to swim and meet tourists in the water, asking for fruits and cookies. The Island of Rabbits, Okinoshima. Another uninhabited island inhabited by animals is Okinoshima. It is home to over 700 wild rabbits. The island has no predators and has tons of grass and a mild climate, so the population flourishes. The rabbits aren't even scared of people in the slightest. They take treats, let themselves be pet, and even like to be held. Over 100,000 tourists go to Okinoshima a year to see these cute animals. Now, the Japanese have built a campground, a hotel, a golf course, and even furnished beaches here. Okinoshima recently received a tourist center. Now, there used to be chemical weapons development and a production factory on the island. It's currently destroyed, but tourists aren't allowed to visit the ruins either. The official reason is that the building is dangerous. But neighboring islanders, well, they tell a different story. No one decontaminated Okinoshima, so some parts of it could still be dangerous. And the factory's basement holds secrets with chemical weapons. Some people think maybe the rabbits living on the island are the descendants of test animals from those chemical labs. After the factory was closed, the animals escaped, multiplied, and gradually inhabited the entire island. Ilha da Cuimaira Grande, Snake Island. Not all island inhabitants are cute like pigs or rabbits. The Brazilian island Cuimaira Grande was taken over by ooh, snakes. Every single foot of ground is covered with snakes, and the coastal rocks are covered with an unbelievable amount of them. So tourists will come to the island and they'll see entire slithering cubes that come out to warm themselves on the hot rocks. The island is uninhabited, of course. No one wants to live with such rude neighbors. Even the lighthouse on the island works autonomously. The snakes are forbidden to be killed, which is too bad, uh, because they're rare and even unique species among them. One of them is the golden lancehead pit viper, which is only found on this island. It's also one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. Socotra, an island with unique plant life. The island Socotra broke off from Africa six million years ago. This tiny piece of land was completely isolated from the world, and evolution here followed its own path. Socotra is home to over 200 unique plant and animal species, and they kind of look like aliens. Adenium obesum socrantum is a type of soft pink desert rose. This plant's shape is similar to a bottle with a bouquet in it. So the desert rose doesn't require fertile soil. It can grow in the sand and in rocks and can be up to, get this, 10 feet tall. Dragon's blood tree or socrota dragon tree looks like an open umbrella. It has a thin trunk and a wide right angle for its crown. The tree looks like it was trimmed by an experienced gardener. Another unique part of Socotra is that you can find the world's rarest pearls there. They are black with a steel sheen. The new island, Surtsey. 
The Icelandic island Surtsey has a birthday. On November 14, 1963, a powerful volcanic eruption pushed a piece of land above the ocean's surface. Now, at first, it was a normal trunk of pumice, but a large one, about 1,600 feet in size. Now, in four years, the island grew to 1.7 miles long, but then shrunk to 0.93 miles. Part of the land was destroyed by erosion. Experts weren't sure that life would ever appear on the island anytime soon, but they were wrong. Get this, just a few hours later, bacteria appeared on the tiny island, and two years later, the island was home to mushrooms and lichen. Moss grew on the stones, which became the main food source, and the waves also brought silt and seaweed to the island. So the eight-year-old island, Surtsey, already had soil. Grass and flowers were soon to follow, in 1988, the first bushes grew. Surtsey has 85 species of birds and many insects on it. It is now scientifically proven that nature is capable of creating a full-scale ecosystem, even on bare rocks, and that it only takes 20 to 30 years at most. But the island's evolution hasn't finished. After several more years, Surtsey will have its first trees and animals. So who do you think will be the first animals on the island? Probably rodents that are everywhere. Mars-like island Devon. Would you like to know what living on Mars is like? Then go to Devon Island in Canada. It's the largest uninhabited island in the world. It is 21,331 square miles large. And summer on Devon only lasts one month and the temperature only gets up to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The rest of the year, it's extremely cold, up to negative, or I should say down to negative 58 Fahrenheit. Devon looks like a real Martian desert. It has endless miles of red, frozen ground. It has rocks, cliffs, and dried lakes. The unbelievably wide Hutton Crater, about 14 miles across, increases the similarity with Mars. This huge hole was left by a meteorite that hit the Earth about 39 million years ago. Something that's kind of odd, though, is that Devon sees almost no snow. There aren't many freshwater sources, and it also has strong winds blowing, making the island's climate similar to Mars. The only real difference is the gravity. It's very low on Mars, and about 38% of Earth's. Now, specialists from NASA decided to use the incredible similarities with the Red Planet and built a science station on Devon to develop a Martian colony program. Conspiracy theory followers are convinced that NASA never left Devon. Nothing has ever gone to Mars, and all the pictures presented by NASA were actually taken on Devon. The Crawling Island, Sable Island. So this island is only 26 miles long and 0.9 miles wide. It looks like a giant worm, and it even crawls like one. And no, I'm not joking. Sable actually crawls and moves 0.12 miles per year. It has moved 12.4 miles to the east over the last 100 years. And no, it's not magic. The island is subject to powerful ocean currents that create whirlpools, blocking sea navigation. Now, sailors consider these waters especially dangerous and called Sable the Cemetery of the Atlantic and the island of 1,000 sunken ships. Now, 1,000 is definitely an exaggeration, but 350 ships have sunk off the coast of Sable for sure. But the danger to sailors isn't just in the water. Sandbars near Sable look harmless, but are actually quicksand. Many sailors coming out of a sunken ship fell into these natural traps and died a few feet away from land. There are known cases of quicksand swallowing ships whole so Sable is also called the Devourer of Ships. Now, people have tried to fight the tricky island. Two lighthouses were built in the 19th century, with a sailor's radio added later. The island was always home to 25 lifeguards, which helped. The amount of wrecks ended up decreasing, but the island is still dangerous. The island's coasts just in the 20th century have been hit by at least four ships, and those are only the registered cases. The Island of No Return, Devil's Island. 
So this tiny piece of land in the Gulf of Mexico looks harmless. So why does it have such a terrifying name? Because no one, no one comes back from this island alive. In 1611, a pirate captain sent a group of 30 people to the island. An epidemic broke out on the ship, and the captain decided to set up a kind of quarantine. He took the sick to shore, left them food and water, and said he'd come back for them later. The captain came back after a month and discovered that nothing was alive on the island. The crew found only empty huts with weapons, clothes, and ammo. It was really strange. So, if the survivors were picked up by another ship, why did they leave their things behind? And if they died from their disease, where are their bodies or graves? Even evidence of a fight would be left behind after an animal attack, too. Robbers would have taken all the valuables, but the camp just looked like people left and didn't come back. This is the island's first mystery. There were others. The island was in the path of pirate ships, and another captain paid it attention. He decided to hide his treasure on the island. He sent a boat filled with gold to the coast at night. He also sent a team of several sailors who didn't return by morning. Then, a two-day storm started. As soon as the waters calmed down, the captain sent pirates to rescue the stranded sailors. And what do you think they found? Correct, nothing. No boats, no sailors, no treasure. So the captain decided that the traders ran off with the gold and died in the storm. Now in the 1950s, a descendant of the captain read his ancestors' notes and decided that the sailors buried the treasure on the island, but the ship didn't return and sank in the storm. The young adventurer formed an expedition and went to the island where he disappeared with his crew. Researchers only found an empty camp and a yacht anchored to the coast. In 1986, millionaire Suarez landed on the island. He was sailing on his yacht, saw the small tropical island, and decided to explore it. Three men and three women got off at the coast. Do I need to say that none of them returned to the yacht? A search party looked over the whole island and only found one girl stuck in a hole. She had hit her head and lost consciousness. The rest had just disappeared. The police had hoped to ask the only witness more, but she died en route to the hospital. Devil's Island did not reveal its secrets, but locals know this picturesque island is best avoided if you want to live. <laughs>